<sighs> We're on the air? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Hi, I'm Patrick Coyle, artist in progress, and I suck at motivation. So today, we're going to talk about how to keep yourself motivated and working on your creative projects. Do you draw, paint, or like me, knit woolen underwear? Ooh, so warm and itchy. And if you're like me, you might have trouble sticking with it. Which brings me to today's topic, motivation. So let's go to the phones and take your calls and we can start a dialogue here. Um, take calls. Man, lay down. Um, I'm being told that this is not a call-in show. So um, we're gonna what? Hey, I got an idea. I'll draw and talk about motivation. You guys can watch and, uh, and listen, okay? Great. Great show prep, guys. We don't take calls. Nobody bothers to tell me. Great. It's still rolling, guys. While I talk today, I'll be working on the second page of a short comic. I plan to publish it online and maybe print up some ash cans for some convention giveaways. For those of you who are curious, I'm working on a 2020 iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil 2, and I'm using Affinity Photo App. Neither Apple nor Affinity Software are sponsors. So here's my personal situation. I went to school for illustration many years ago, like the 90s. Okay, the early 90s. I'm old, mind your business. When I got out of college, in order to earn a living, I got into web design. I developed a decent career. I started one of the first online comic book publishing companies. I published a series of novels for young readers that I did not write or draw. I got married, I had kids, I had lots of awesome stuff that I gladly gave my attention to. But comics kept nudging me and gnawing at me. So now, I'm trying to get back to it and make comics, which is tough, especially when your skills are super rough. I find that the first push back into drawing is always done with a bit of gusto and good intentions, like when you start eating healthy, exercising, or flossing. The problem comes when you try to keep it going. This isn't a job that pays the bills. There's nobody making me do this, so how do I motivate myself when I just worked a full day and I'm tired? I've got family stuff I should, could, have to be doing. Or maybe Mad Max Fury Road is on Netflix and I've seen it about 2,156 times, but man, it's so flippin' awesome, I'm just gonna watch this one scene. And then two hours later. Then of course there's the big one, self-doubt. I don't know about you, but this one weighs on me a lot. But I got a ton of bricks, I tells ya. I can get into a negative cycle where it's like, I'm not very good, what's the point? And so I don't draw, and guess what? I don't get better. Self-fulfilling prophecy fulfilled. Okay, so what can you do? Self-doubt actually deserves its own video, and I've got a lot to say on that, so I'm going to cover that in more depth in a separate video. But there are ways to get motivated that don't involve tackling your inner demons. But just in general terms, to get yourself motivated, I use a method that you may have heard of. Self-talk. It's exactly what it sounds like. You're talking to yourself. Now, if you choose to do it out loud and sound like a deranged lunatic, you get extra credit. But mostly, I do it inside my head. It's what psychiatrists call thinky thoughts. And I don't mean to talk over your head with a little bit of industry jargon there, so I apologize. Here are some of the things that I tell myself when I'm having trouble and don't want to carry on drawing. I won't get better. I'm going to feel worse about myself if I don't. It's that negative thought loop I mentioned earlier. Sometimes I think about the fact that my wife and kids love that I make comics and artwork. My daughters are incredibly creative. And if nothing else, I kind of owe it to them to be a role model in that way. Since I can't pay for college, it seems like the least I can do. What? Nothing, my darling daughter. One thing that hit me a few years ago was that I've really wanted to do this since I was a kid. I've dabbled in it here and there, but nothing stuck. Things got in the way, or I thought I had all the time in the world. But as I grew older, I started thinking ahead, and I realized if I don't give this a try, I'm going to regret it. And this struck a nerve with me. This last reason has really been the thing driving me. Not necessarily day to day, I don't think about it every single day, but overall. Day to day, I really lean on the I won't get better and you'll feel worse if you don't. That tends to help me through like one individual session or just to get over a hump of exhaustion or what have you. You should think about why you want 
to work on your creative pursuits. Maybe even write it down and look at it from time to time to keep yourself motivated. Now, personally, I'm not big on hanging motivational quotes around the house, but it works for a lot of people, so maybe you should give it a try. I write down my goals and stuff in a notes file on my computer. I have a notes app, and one section is for project ideas, random thoughts, and interesting tips and tricks. I like to flip through it once in a while. It really does help me, especially when I don't feel like I have any good ideas. I feel like, look at this, I had some good ideas once. It maybe makes me feel like maybe I will again. Inevitably, I stumble back over the note I made a couple years ago with my personal goals. It's a nice little shot in the arm at a time when I might need it. Now, self-talk in notes doesn't work for everybody. And even for those it does work for, it doesn't work 100% of the time. So what can you do? All right, so some ways to motivate when self-talk doesn't work. Sometimes we need an external pressure or support. So what I would do is hire the biggest, strongest person you can find to dress in a gladiator outfit. Stand behind you with a big whip. If you stop drawing for more than, say, five minutes, they'll beat the snot out of you with the whip. Now, I haven't actually tried this myself, but I saw a couple ads similar to this on Craigslist. I'm thinking of giving them a call. No, but for real. Uh, some The way it worked for me was I started with a challenge. So Inktober worked for me. There's a ton of art challenges out there. So go ahead and Google art challenges and see what appeals to you. You could sign up for a class which means that if you don't do it, you'll be wasting money or time. Um, you could do online classes. There's a great site called SVS Learning. Um, there's one called Domestica. There's Udemy. I think it's Udemy. I don't know how to pronounce it. The link will be below. Uh, the Pencil Kings uh, is a nice site. Uh, they are, none of these are sponsors, by the way, but I have used them. Uh, you could also take it in, in real life class. Go to a museum, a local college, community center, uh, or private group lessons in some places. Of course, all this is assuming that one day the pandemic will be over. Uh, so in the meantime, you could get involved in an online community uh, on Instagram, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Doodle Addicts, Elo, Pinterest, ArtStation, PencilJack, Facebook, Reddit. Uh, there are actually some good subreddits specific to feedback on artwork. So take a look, you know, browse one of those and see if you like the people, if you like the feedback, if you like the conversation that's going on there. Um, sometimes you can kind of just browse for a little while and be a spectator. Um, and then, you know, when you feel comfortable, you can start posting your own stuff and getting feedback. Many of the classes and communities I mentioned have daily or weekly challenges. Some require paid membership and some just your email address. There's even a drawing app that includes challenges and posting built in. It's called Sketch Club. I haven't tried it, but you should check it out. Uh, another way that you can motivate yourself is to do it with a friend. This worked for me a few years back when I was exercising more regularly, uh, and it's a good way to build even a small community around this to help keep you on track. Find a buddy online, find a friend in real life, give them a call, give them a text, and say, hey, let's do this together every Monday night or every whatever. You can also do a drink and draw. Uh, if you haven't heard of that, that's when a group of people get together, either in a bar or a restaurant or even in your home. Uh, of course, when social distancing uh, is a thing of the past. Uh, and they'll have a cocktail or a couple of drinks and then sit around and just draw. It's a lot of fun. You can just chit chat, you can make jokes, you can kind of hang out, um, but yet you're still all drawing, which is fun. You could do that online too. You can get some people uh, for a Zoom call or a FaceTime or what have you. And you don't even have to do this with drinks. You could do it with food. You could do it with no drinks uh, if you are not into drinking or if you're not of the legal age or what have you. Um, just make it happen. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes to get motivated, I like to look at something else that's inspiring. Uh, a lot of times it's comics for me. Sometimes it could be uh, paintings. It could be movies. It could be books. Uh, you know, whatever gets your mind buzzing. Some people recommend writing a check to a political party that you hate and put it in a stamped and addressed envelope and have someone hold on to it and mail it for you if you don't stick to a schedule. Uh, but I don't like this one. Uh, more likely, I'll end up giving money to a cause that I don't support. Also, I don't really believe in negative reinforcement for something like this. Rewards are better. So you could promise you'll upgrade your phone or go out to dinner or better yet, buy some nice art gear if you stick to a schedule for a period of time. What I've tried to do is pick a deadline in which you want to show your work to someone at a class or a convention or something like that. Deadlines can be very motivating. Also, try to work it into your schedule if you can. I sketch as part of my evening routine. I did this for Inktober and it became part of my everyday schedule. It feels like something is missing if I don't do it now. And yes, not all nights are great, 
Some suck pretty hard and it's like pulling teeth, but it builds a habit. And that's been the overall key for me, honestly. I've built a habit. There are nights when I don't, either because I can't or occasionally because I really can't get the energy for it. I'm only human. I have physical and emotional ups and downs. And I occasionally beat myself up for not drawing. And I mean physically. This is Fight Club. And I'm Tyler Durden. But don't do that. It's okay to take breaks. I try to draw five out of the seven nights a week for about an hour each night. Some weeks I do more, some I do less. And that's cool. I'm still drawing on a regular basis, which is the real point. It's not easy, and you'll have to figure out what works for you. It's like quitting meth. The more often you try, the more likely you are to succeed. Not that I have a meth problem. I can quit whenever I want. I just don't want to. All right, enough drawing. Who wants to come dismantle the toaster with me? So that's what works for me and what I tend to do uh, to keep myself motivated, but I want to hear what works for you or doesn't. So let me know down in the comments what you've tried, what you haven't tried, what you'd like to try. Um, maybe some things you could let me know and we could talk about in a future video. Um, so yeah, go ahead down in the comments and uh, let it rip. So in upcoming videos, I plan to talk more about motivation because that comes up a lot, as well as self-doubt, um, probably some tools, tricks, techniques. We'll talk about software. We'll talk about uh, gear. We'll talk about tools of the trade, setting goals. And then I hope to interview some, in some professionals as well to see how they deal with all this nonsense. If you dig this video and think other people would find it helpful, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to get more videos like this in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Is it over here? No. Over here. Your left. My right. No? Over here. I don't know what you're watching on. And remember, you don't suck. You just think you do. And you're wrong. All right, keep drawing, suckers. Get it, suckers? <laughs> Get out of here. See you next time.